And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trundle Braum. I am very excited about this deck. Definitely some cards that I really enjoy playing put together here. So what we have is a mostly all Freljord deck that's going to deal with some buffs. So we're going to have um, cards like Omenhawk that can uh, help buff our, our uh, champions in play and everything. Um, or like the, the, the top cards in our deck, which will hopefully be our champions. I guess that's, that's what I mean. Because we want to buff up Braum, right? Because Braum's usually a 0-5, but it has the challenger. So you want more power for Braum whenever it's challenging. And of course, Braum has the regeneration also. So besides Omenhawk, we're going to be playing a deck with Troll Gifts. Because Troll Gifts is going to be perfect with Braum. Two mana, grant permanent plus two, plus two for that two mana if your unit has regeneration. And that's perfect with Braum and perfect with Trundle. And so that's what that's what we kind of have here is like a regeneration deck with that permanent plus two, plus two buff with Troll Gifts. Our other unit for five mana is going to be Scar Maiden Reaver, another regeneration unit, um, also with Overwhelm. So the buff on the Scar Maiden Reaver uh, is very useful for that also. And then we're going to be playing Siphoning Strike, because this is going to be another way to buff our, our champion. So uh, we you know have an ally strike a unit, have that unit die, grant our allied champions everywhere plus two, plus two. So now we're growing Braum and Trundle even more with our Siphoning Strike. Plus, it's any allied champion everywhere. And we're going to have more champions besides just Braum and Trundle, because we're going to play two copies of the Howling Abyss. They can create random level two champions um, and so like all of those would have plus two plus two with siphoning strike as well so that's a very good combo we'll have ride negation to help protect siphoning strike to help get that going um, but then also just two battle furies at the top end because battle furies can just win win games but yeah battle fury of braum you know like that can be an insanely huge threat on both attacking and blocking battle fury a trundle or a scar maiden reaver that overwhelm can just kill them and so that's what our deck's kind of about. And besides that, it's just going to be some interaction. We'll have like Tavern Keeper to help make us stay alive. Avalanche to, you know, kill a bunch of units. Like if they're going wide um, and everything, play some defense and help us set up our late game with Howling Abyss, Siphoning Strike. Um, we'll have uh, Flash Freeze and Three Sisters for another Flash Freeze um, against like these Nasus decks, uh, you know, to like how they're going to be real big in Atrocity and that kind of stuff. Of course, we'll also have Ride Negation against Atrocity. And then even a couple of quicksands um, against like elusive, like to be able to block elusives and things like that. Um, yeah, and then we'll even have Troll Chant to be able to help protect Braum as well. So a pretty cool deck here. I'm, I'm definitely very excited to play this one for sure. So let's get to it. Uh, this is this is one. Uh, this is like the first one of our decks today. The other three are all going to be donation decks that all, all also look pretty fun. But I wanted to give something like this a try. I wanted to play. Siphoning Strike with the Howling Abyss, and also Trundle Braum, Troll Gifts. I always love that combination. Okay, well there we go. There's Thresh Nasus. So we have three Frostbite cards and two Quicksands as far as stopping that thing goes. Um, I could see just keep... I think I'm going to just keep all of this. I could see... Yeah, I think I'm going to keep all of it. Prediction has started. See what we see. So. Sand and blood. Because the tricky thing, so I am going to have the attack token on turn four, so I want to be able to play the troll gifts on the Braum on turn four. So the tricky thing is figuring out like what do I want to do with turn two, turn three. Like I can only play one of Tavern Keeper Sentry. And so I'm I'm opting for the Tavern Keeper. Depending on what would have happened, you know, I may have gone Sentry before. Because Tavern Keeper is going to be more valuable later on in the game than Sentry is going to be. So maybe I should still... No, I'm just going to go Tavern Keeper. Wow. They had nothing on turn 2 or turn 3. I can say that was unexpected. Man, their hand must be something else. All right, so um, I guess the problem... Okay, so I control gifts, Braum, and challenge. 
right? Like, that's what I've been kind of planning to do. But that means Braum would have 7 health. It would take 3 damage, so it'd have 4 health left. Black Spear is their very common removal spell. And so I feel like that's maybe a... Uh, you know, a Black Spear waiting to happen if I do that. Okay, that's still them just wasting a, don a ton of mana. Okay, so I could pass and wait, but like, they they should challenge. They should have Thresh challenge the three three. I, that's I'm expecting that, but I guess you never know. They could pass and have me waste all this mana, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just battle fury this Braum right now, just to, just in case. Which you know, obviously now I'm tapped out, so now they get that good challenge, but. This 8-9 Braum should do a lot of work. Um, I'm worried about Glimpse Beyond as far as Siphoning Strike is concerned. If they have double Black Spear, I'm in trouble. This could get a Black Spear out of their hand. Right, like they may like look at my Braum and think, okay, this is a good Black Spear opportunity, and then we troll gifts. And then Braum survives another 4 damage. Alright, so now it's at 9 out of 10. To level up. Which card are you talking about, A00? You said, why did you cast it first? Which which card? I think you may be talking about the Battle Fury, of like, why did I cast the Battle Fury when I did? And it's because my if I I don't want to pass priority at that point, because the opponent could also pass priority back, and I would have wasted a whole bunch of mana, and, and I wouldn't have had another opportunity to do that. I know they play Atrocity, but they don't usually play Vengeance, right? As far as Braum is concerned. There you are. Sure. I mean, so they can... They'll kill my 3-1, whatevs. But they can't, they can't attack with anything else, because Braum levels up. Okay, so that card right there is a champion. Five down. I've dressed for the occasion in red. Yeah, Vladimir and Braum are pretty good friends. Another champion with regeneration. If we draw, if we find another one of those troll gifts, we can troll gifts at Vladimir. See what we see, can you see what we see, soldiers? Delicious. Have you met my shield? So, problems at 9 out of 10. So, even if they have Glimpse Beyond. I was going to say, even if they have Glimpse Beyond to sacrifice the Caretaker, we'd still level up the Braum. But they did not, so now we'll have level up Braum. Dealing two damage. I could see me, like, supposed to play, like, Omen Hawk and Sentry and wait and see if they... Um... You know, basically, like, you know, we know that they kind of wanted to play a champion there and just kind of wait for them to play the champion and then have Braum challenge the champion. So, I guess I probably should have played the Omenhawk and Sentry first. Because I could play, like, Omenhawk here. No. I don't know. It's it's fine. Can see the border from here. 
Yeah, they used a black spear to kill Braum before, and I used the troll gifts to save the Braum at that point. Okay, well. Round start, create some cataclysms, get extra attacks. That does sound pretty enticing with Braum. Let's just pass for it right now. Let's see what they do. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have put past. So I guess that does level up thrash. But this is their so this is their second thrash. Okay, I I probably sh I should have just avalanched. Yeah, I should I should have avalanched. Or done that. I should have done. I should not have passed. But I think we're still doing just fine. This is the real King Jarvan right here. King Jarvan, please stand up. That'll do. Dude, our deck is sweet. Already defeated Thresh Nasus, Master's Rank, first game. Our opponent had like 500 LP also. And they're a good Thresh Nasus player. Demacia prevails! Zoe Victor Vi. Targon cards are pretty good. So let's see how we do with our late game against Targon. So we're going to go Mulligan, Mulligan. Troll Gifts and Trundle. I would kind of rather that be Braum than Trundle. I kind of think I have to, yeah, I have to Mulligan the Troll Gifts too. We got to find, like, the problem is like turn one Zoe, right? Like that's where that's where things can definitely go wrong, and so I have to try to find something that can deal with turn one Zoe. And that would have been Braum, not Trundle. Okay, Avalanche. Takes me a couple of turns. Yay, not turn one Zoe. They can get some more 2-2s two or whatever. Things that died Avalanche. Wow, Bastion? Sure. Ooh, that's new. Yeah, we can we can handle these kind of cards. to Zoe. Good. So this is going well so far. Alright, just kind of give my opponent something to think about. I wasn't really planning on making that attack, but just kind of give them something to think about. Of like, why would I be thinking about making that attack? Break the strong, slaughter the weak. That's right. I'm playing Scar Main Reaver in Master's Rank. What's up? Dang, they had a good hand. That's a lot of champions. 
All three different champions. <laughs> That's right, Scar Maiden. Hold him back. Hold him back, Scar Maiden. If only you were actual flash freeze. Ingenious. Trundle or Braum? We'll go Trundle. Ah, uh, spell shield. That's good. Light the signal fires. Yeah, Victor's getting scary. I feel like if we can deal with this Victor, we're gonna be doing pretty good. Bask in her radiant blessing. This is a good opportunity for siphoning strike. Yeah, let's do it. It's either that or, you know, like the other option was like hold up Fury of the North, like, you know, like block Fury. Mystic, sh Mystic Shot, of course, is very common. They're at five out of seven. We know they have a celestial card they invoked. Which that celestial card should be this card right here. Yes, of course. Can handle a little cold. Hail to the king. So we'll kind of see if they have Hush or not. Alright, no Hush. We know that, of course, they have that champion. So it looks like that champion's probably Zoe. Right, because they should have three Zoe's, two Victors, and a Vi anyway. We've already killed one Victor, one Vi, and one Zoe, so it'd be two Zoe's and one Victor left for this champion here. So it's probably a Zoe. So they're probably gonna have three, three Zoe, but I'll have like three sisters for that. I'm gonna how I'm gonna get Howling Abyss up and working. That is perfectly fine with me. They still haven't played that Celestial card yet, right? So it could be like the six mana obliterate. What's up, Swain? We drew the quicksand. Quicksand was the card. Hanging out. Chilling. What you doing? You got a problem? Mm, I'll pass. I kind of feel like they're going to go six mana obliterate something and then I'll play the Kindly Tavern Keeper afterwards. Come on, 
ponies. Good times, good friends. What could be better? Oh, that's right. It was the four mana look for champion spell. Never mind. So yeah, so they so they have played both of their cards now. I really wish I didn't play this Tavern Keeper right now and I would have saved my spell mana, because then I could, you know, Darius and Siphoning Strike. I should have saved spell mana. I probably should have saved spell mana in general. The trolls are going to war. I think they're in a lot of trouble. I think they're in a lot of trouble. They agreed. Man, these are two very good wins. Two very good decks. We have done what is needed. But opponent didn't have turn one Zoe, but they kind of had everything else. They had turn three Zoe, then Zoe, then Victor, then Vi. Yeah. Ooh, Draven Ezreal. So now we really have to worry about our Nexus health with this, because they'll have the Elusives with Ezreal. They have lots of Nexus damage. Then they have the 8-8 to finish the game. So that's what we have to worry about. Um, we don't have our regeneration units for that. And three sisters... Like, the flash reads on three sisters would be very useful later on. But I don't think I want to keep it in my opener. Because I want to look for my champions first. Especially a card like Braum could be pretty nice. Love it. They're out there. One six prom. Now we draw troll gifts. Not bad. I'll take flash freeze. That'll be my three spell mana. Kind of expecting static shock, but wouldn't hate it because I'd still draw a card. Champion was the other option. Uh, yes. Shreema only Sundisk deck. This is the version I'd recommend for that kind of deck. Yeah, there's there's tons. I'd recommend that version right there. But if you want to play all three Ascended Champions, maybe something like this. So they have three mana. I can't kill anything with a Siphoning Strike. For the money makers. Stand behind bro. Ready the torches. Do I want to flash freeze? I kinda think I mean, do I just let Braum die? I guess I'll just let Braum die. To Mystic Shot. Like that's their plan, is have Braum get killed by Mystic Shot. Maybe that's not a good idea by me. Because like they they also have like the ways to kill th the things that we battle fury. They have you know noxian guillotine and that kind of stuff. Well, I'll keep the draven from leveling up. And so, you're like, yeah, I could have blocked with Braum, but I would have got no bonus for blocking with Braum. Anyway. If I could play both Troll Gifts and Riding Negation, I would be doing that. But I can't do both. I don't want my Braum just to die to Mystic Shot, so... I'm playing this, they're going to keep mana open for a spell... Unless they, I guess unless they have Thermogenic Beam, I guess maybe they, they just Thermogenic Beam the Trundle. I guess that could happen. Yeah, so they keep mana open so I get to pass. Have them waste the mana. Cool. Got access, need victims. You are safe with Brawl. So 
So I'll be able to ride Negation a uh, Guillotine if they have that. Scorched Earth. The problem is I have to sacrifice a Mana Gem. Which I don't really want to... I really don't want to sacrifice a Mana Gem looking at Double Battle Fury in, in hand. Best case, like, I would love to just destroy Omen Hawk, but if I if I go for destroying Omen Hawk, they can Mystic Shot the Omen Hawk, which I think that, you know, they, they have Mystic Shot. I guess I could try to destroy, like, so, like, so kill Omen Hawk's not an option. We could try to destroy, destroy Mighty Poro, I guess, but then, you know, like, a Get Excited would stop that. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's just got to be the Mana Gem. That's really unfortunate. I need I need those mana gems looking at these crazy eights in hand. This is where the power of deny looks a lot better than ride of negation. Like losing that mana gem is a real big deal. It, that may cost us this game, it really may. We'll have to see. But it's the safest option. Yeah, so I, I probably should have just killed the 3 3 over the mana gem. I don't know. That was a tough decision. Because I knew they had Thermo in hand for how they played that other turn, too. So maybe I just let maybe I just let Braum die. Maybe that was the play. But then then they Thermo and try to kill Trundle, and then I what, counter that, and then but they're tapped out, so then I can sacrifice the Omen Hawk at that point. Yeah, yeah, we saw Malphite. Looks like a cool champion. Kind of Nautilus-like. So they did have Get Excited. That would have killed the Poro if I would have gone for the Poro. Man, they could have... Oh, they're going to have Thermo for one. They'd already played Thermo. Gross. Or just Flock? Okay, well. It's a lot harder to play around Flock, so I don't, I don't mind that as much. I guess, but... Captain Farron's kind of the only card that kills us, right? Like, that's normal. They always have Captain Farron. They play three Captain Farrens, right? Because they always have it. I just have to do this. I don't know. Maybe I didn't have to do that. I guess I could have taken the eight. Yeah, I didn't have to do that. I could have just taken the eight and battle furied my mighty Poro, and then, and then this turn battle fury mighty Poro again and attack. Well, I guess no, because that still would have been the same amount of damage, but it would have killed their thing. This is looking pretty bad. This is looking pretty bad.
Could really use Overwhelm card. Scarmane Reaver. Or uh, Trundle. Yeah, they got me. Dang, that's too bad. I thought they were winning this one. I've, you know, I made some wrong decisions, I guess. I don't think I should have lost this game. The the trundle attack that was like that was the the real wrong decision was that trundle attack into the four one. Man, I yeah, I thought I was gonna be winning this. Upset Malphite is weaker than Trindamir. I'm guessing that's not, not how it's supposed to be. And they played around Avalanche perfectly. But the like, it's not like they had to go wide, though, right? Like, like they had, like, those two threats that were pretty game-ending that, that the onus was on me to do stuff anyway. Obviously, I wish I didn't play Avalanche. Just have them have that three, three power elusive. So I could have, all right, so I've been thinking about it. So I could have won this. So basically how, how I could have won this game, even at the end there, when they attacked with the Captain Farron, I just blocked with my 1-1 one, one Omen Hawk and put the Battle Fury on my 3-3 three, three Overwhelm. And then the next turn, Battle Fury it again, like we talked about, how I talked about how like doing that and then double attacking with the double Battle Fury, but they would still block with the 8-8. Well, if I would have blocked with my 1-1, one, one, then that thing would have been an 8-7, and then I would have been able to overwhelm that one extra damage because they can't stop that. So... Um, I need to think about it a little bit, right? Like I, it took me too late to process that and figure out that I, how to get the lethal there. So that was the line for lethal, the turn they played the, like whenever I battle fury and blocked, um, I actually had lethal if I would have thought about it with like nothing that they could have done to stop that. Yep. That was too bad. So that, that was the line, but figured it out later, but that's, that's the thing. It's all about, it's always good to learn and figure out, mis mis figure out your mistakes. Okay, back to Thresh Nasus. So again, we have a few Frostbite cards for the Nasus. Um, yeah, I think I keep everything. Of course, I really like the Avalanche. And we don't have a champion in hand, so we have a champion on top for Omen Hawk to buff up. Look at that. Let's see? That's some skill right there. You must know me, you must. Save our spell mana. Man, both champions. Perfect. Uh, did have all right. So there's a glimpse beyond gone. That card's always good. Yes, there were cards revealed today. Um, here you can find them right here on Mobilitics. New champion, Malphite. Let us get going. Maokai Malphite. Let's go, Alfred. 
All right, halfway to leveling up, Braum. just trundle but see like if i play tr okay yeah because they only have the two mana left because the problem they can still have vile feast right like if i no because they can't vi no i guess yeah okay so yeah they can vile feast okay it's possible they just pass though and i just waste all this mana uh, left for a snack? i guess that's not the worst case the worst thing ever if brom dies It's not that likely they have another Vile Feast in hand. They've already played one. Boys, we have it's possible, but it's not super likely. Darn, they do. Well, that's too bad. They look angry. Yeah, that's really too bad. You think I should have just been wasting mana? Maybe. Uh, that's probably. Probably too greedy by me. I won't use Troll Gifts yet because, okay, because I was scared of Black Spear, um, you know, and then, you know, it gets rid of my plus two, plus two. Card left. Come on, come on. You got a problem? Warm hearts and hot soup. So, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of waiting on the Flash Freeze on the Nasus. So this attack only goes... So, that, that attack goes to 7. 7-7. Seven, seven. I can go Troll Gifts for 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh, no, no, no. Troll Gifts for 8-9. Oh, no, no. Yeah, 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we're good. 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay. Set it all ablaze! All right, that'll do. We got him. All right, three and one should be four and zero. Oh, because I miss lethal. Okay, and then we got Karma Lee. So this is a deck that we're gonna be playing tomorrow. Actually, we got a donation deck to play Karma Lee Control. We're playing this tomorrow. 
Quicksand can go, and we'll mulligan one trundle. I'll keep a trundle. I don't know, I could see mulliganing the other trundle too. But I'll keep one trundle. Yeah, people definitely slept on Nasus whenever it was previewed for sure. This has keyword big. People really underrated the, the spell shield, right? Like the level up Nasus getting the spell shield. Like that combination with Atrocity. Yeah, it looks like we're getting a pretty landmark heavy new expansion. Crescendum. So that should be the 1 3. Omen Hawk, you're a little late, buddy. Oh, that's a good card. Solari Priestess, that's a good card. Bask in her radiant blessing. They may have Hush, I wouldn't mind getting a Hush out of their hand if they do. Maybe they just let it happen. That'd also be pretty good. Cool. Well, that's easier to deal with than the six mana obliterate. would be foolish to underestimate you. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. We have a vulnerable Lee Sin. So, of course, they can just play two spells to give the Lee Sin Barrier. Wow, they don't. Would you say that was pretty unexpected? Good job, Omen Hawk. Take one for the team. This is gonna be fun. Okay. We getting somewhere? Took down two champions, one Karma, one Lee Sin. We don't have the Howling Abyss, unfortunately. That'd be the best card for me to have. We also got rid of the six mana Celestial that they got from the Solari Priestess, so we've gotten. You know, like their Celestial and a Lee Sin and a Karma. We have traded with all three of those so far. Ooh, another Karma. Think about entombing that. Getting rid of it for two turns. Yeah. Because otherwise, a well, I guess Renegation does counter everything. I don't know. 
It is time. How can throw him? Tell the one about your door again. Yeah, deck code. Um, there's a link to the deck right there. That will, you can find the code on it there. Well, let's make them have something else. It's very likely they have something else, but we're going to make them have it. And even if it is like a concussive palm, they're not playing it. Like, whatever it is, they're not playing with double... You know, they're not doubling it up with, uh, with karma in play. Nothing else? That was it. That was it. That, that's all they had. All right, four and one for Trundle Brom. Man, this deck looked good. It really should have been a five and zero. Oh. All right, so there we go. That was Trundle Brom. Really good deck here. This is uh, I was very very happy with this. As I t talked about at the beginning, this is definitely my kind of deck. Uh, cards I really like playing. I I enjoy playing uh, Brom and, and Trundle together. Um, with troll gifts. I think that's a lot of fun of, of playing that kind of deck. And yeah, we got to Howling Abyss a couple of people. Siphoning Strikes were good at growing our champions. Even Scar Main Reaver was getting in on the action. The Ride Negations for protection were clutch. Battle Furies were pretty clutch. Yeah, this was an awesome deck. And we went 4 and 1. And it really should have been a 5 0. I figured out how we could have had the win against the Draven Ezreal opponent afterwards. Um, so that's too bad I didn't figure it out in time. Uh, so, you know, we got our opponent down to one. But, um, yeah, that's awesome. So we beat, uh, let's see, two Thresh Nasus, uh, that that Karma Lee deck, and then also, um, oh, what was the what was the other win? Uh, it was another good deck. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, so, you know, defeated good decks over in Master's Rank. Um, impressive showing. And so I think this kind of shows that while you may think that Howling Abyss is a meme tier card and you know siphoning strike to go along with howling abyss is like a meme tier uh thing we really show that that uh it can be put to good use and and win a lot of games and and be a good combo i i kind of wish i would have played this deck at the seasonal tournament to be honest <laughs> this is a, a pretty awesome deck that there's two cards that this deck would really struggle against one is the watcher you know it, it we just don't kill our opponent fast enough and and um you know, don't really have good ways to stop the Watcher combo from happening. You, like, you could entomb a Watcher, right? So like it, but that, that still would be pretty difficult to deal with. Uh, but yeah, we do have like Battle Fury, so like maybe you know you can try to race them with like Battle Fury and Overwhelm and stuff like that. So like that that would be like the real way to, to try to win. Hopefully they don't have like a turn eight kill and you can race them. Um, so that would be tough. And then also like a really in soul, really in soul just in general would be a difficult card. Um, cause that, that's just a, a top end card that can get so much value. But, um, besides that, I, I think this could do good against a lot of aggro decks. Cause you are playing kindly tavern keeper, avalanche, Brahms, a great blocker. Um, you, then, you know, you have other early blockers like Omen Hawk and, and Sentry and stuff like that. So I could see this doing pretty good against your aggro decks and like a lot of decks that care about damage because of how big you can make these like Brahm and Trundle start at five health. But, you know, you have, like, Omen Hawk that can increase that. You have your Troll troll Gifts that can increase that. And then Battle Fury that can increase that as well. And I liked with Shurima, we had Ride and Negation for protection. So even, like, the, um, you know, your six-man, like, your Targon Obliterates and, and things like that, we could still even protect our large uh, champions with Ride of Negation. That was pretty cool, too. All right, so anyway, there we go. That was uh, Trundle Braum. Awesome deck. Great deck to start the day off with. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Hopefully y'all really enjoyed this deck as well. Um, I, I love playing Howling Abyss. I think it's a really fun card, and I think it's good. I think it's a very underrated card. I think we showed that with these games here. All right, but that's it here for Trundle Braum. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.